friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode in my WW Barbecue series. As sad as it is, summer is coming to a close as well as the barbecue series. We're gonna have this video and one more with a barbecue recipe and then we're gonna move into fall and the holidays. So no fear, I have a lot of recipe videos coming your way, but I cannot wait to share tonight's with you. The dinner was amazing. So if you want to see what I have in store for you for this episode of my WW Barbecue series, then just keep watching. For tonight's barbecue dinner, we're gonna be making bruschetta grilled chicken, grilled Brussels sprouts, which I can't wait for, and then I'm also gonna grill up some zucchini because my husband does not like Brussels sprouts. So let me show you what is in our recipes. So we're going to need some oil, either avocado or olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, minced garlic, stone ground or grainy mustard, Sugar-free honey, this is the sugar-free honey that I use. This is the Nature's Hollow Sugar-Free Honey. I purchased this off of the Nutrition website. It's the only place that I've been able to find it and it is really the best price. There is a link down in the description box. If you click the link, it'll take you directly to Nutrition. You can shop around, find all of your favorite things. The Fiber Gourmet Pasta is a must have and that is also purchased off of Nutrition. So sugar-free honey is amazing. So I'll be using that in the recipes. We also need some red chili pepper flakes, Italian seasoning, Parmesan cheese, of course some chicken, a lemon, this here is mozzarella cheese. This is just fresh, delicious mozzarella cheese. The largest zucchini on the planet. Some Brussels sprouts, fresh basil, and tomatoes. So let's get started on tonight's barbecue dinner. So the first thing we need to do is chop our little hearts out. I need to chop up my two tomatoes, my Brussels sprouts, slice my mozzarella cheese into one ounce pieces, chop up some zucchini, of course, some basil, and then I'm going to slice our chicken breasts thinner so they cook a little bit faster on the barbecue. So let's get to chopping. chopped we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce for our chicken so we need one tablespoon of oil so whether you're using avocado or olive oil we need one tablespoon of that we're also going to add in some Italian seasoning I also squeezed one lemon and we're gonna add about half of our lemon juice so make sure to reserve the other half and then we're just gonna do some salt and some pepper Oh, this looks delish. And then we're just going to give this a quick whisk together. And we're just going to set it aside as this is the sauce for our chicken. We are going to take our chicken. This one over here is mine. I measured it out on my food scale. It's four ounces, which is the amount of chicken that I want. So I'm going to make sure that that is the one that I end up with off of the barbecue. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my chicken here to a Ziploc bag. And then we're also going to add that delicious sauce that we just made to the bag. And then we're just going to give it a quick squish around. And I'm just going to throw it in the fridge while we get together our Brussels sprouts and our zucchini. And that'll just give it a few minutes to marinate, but it smells really, really good. We're gonna go ahead and put together our Brussels sprouts while our chicken is marinating. So I'm going to add another tablespoon of my avocado oil to my Brussels sprouts. And just so you know, I'm gonna recreate this marinade for the zucchini for my husband as well. Again, he doesn't like Brussels sprouts, what's wrong with him? And then we are going to put in one tablespoon of grainy mustard and I'm just gonna kinda wing it. 
I know about a tablespoon of a zero point item. I'm also going to put in one tablespoon of honey. I am gonna measure that out, just so we don't go too crazy with the honey. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of salt, just to kind of bring out all the delicious flavors. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of red chili pepper flakes. I don't really like spicy very much. And then lastly, I'm going to add one cup, or I'm sorry, one quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. And I'm gonna give this a good stir, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the zucchini, and then we'll be ready to get everything onto the grill. So I'm gonna get my Brussels sprouts ready to go onto the grill. So I've just put them here in a little foil pack. And I'm just gonna kind of roll them up and put a top layer onto my foil pack as well. And then that way you can easily flip these around on your barbecue. So my veggies are ready and I just did the same exact thing with the zucchini. I went ahead and added that delicious marinade and also went ahead and made them into a little foil pack as well. And then let's get our chicken ready to go. While the barbecue is warming up, we're going to make up our bruschetta topping. So you can see here that I have my chopped up tomatoes, my chopped up fresh basil. You could use dried basil if you didn't have the fresh, but honestly, the fresh makes such a huge difference. So we're going to give that a mix. We're going to add in the other half of our squeezed lemon juice. We reserved half of that. Give that a little bit of a mix, and this is really easy. We're just simply going to add in a little bit of ground black pepper and a little bit of salt, and we'll give it a stir, and I'm just gonna throw it in the fridge while the chicken and the vegetables are cooking, and we'll top our chicken with this right before it's done on the grill, but doesn't that look fresh and delicious? Our chicken is ready to go on the grill. This smells really good. So we're gonna go ahead and get this on the grill and the vegetables, I'll show you it cooking away, and then we are ready to have dinner, and this looks absolutely delicious. Our dinner is coming along nicely. Our chicken is looking good, and we have our foil pack of Brussels sprouts and zucchini, so it'll be just a few more minutes before it's done. Everyone's out here. Hi, Lola. Hi, buddy. Hi. And then this guy. And you're welcome. So I just brought dinner in. Look at our veggies. Yum. The zucchini and the Brussels sprouts, they smell outstanding. And then we have our chicken. We did go ahead and add our mozzarella cheese while it was on the grill. Here's our bruschetta topping. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this plated up. We are gonna add a little Parmesan to the top of our chicken and our veggies. I'll show you my completed dinner and I'll give you the smart point. So here is our completed dinner. So there is my chicken. I went ahead and added the bruschetta topping so that delicious tomato basil and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And then I have one sixth of the Brussels sprouts. And again, I just added a little bit of Parmesan cheese to that as well. So the Brussels sprouts are a total of two smart points for one sixth of them. And your bruschetta chicken is also only two smart points. The only thing that you have to count points for is the mozzarella cheese and the little bit of oil that's in the marinade. It is not enough Parmesan to count cheese or count points for. So this is a total dinner for only four smart points. Thank you for joining me on another episode of my WW Barbecue series. You guys, that bruschetta chicken and those Brussels sprouts and zucchini were so incredibly delicious. And what a low point filling dinner, all prepared on our outdoor grill. Nothing can be better. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell, that way you're notified every time I upload, you don't wanna miss a single video. I would love it if you'd give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of this recipe in the barbecue series, and if you're gonna give it a try, and also how sad you are that the series is ending, and I'll see you guys all in my next video, bye.